On the third anniversary of their deaths, families of some of the 13 American service members killed in a suicide attack at the Kabul airport in Afghanistan said they were simply trying to honor their loved ones. We invited um, both President Trump and uh, the Biden-Harris administration, and we didn't hear back from the, the White House. I stood with different people over different graves and took pictures. Photos for political purposes at Arlington National Cemetery are in violation of federal law, and reports surfaced of an altercation between Trump campaign staff and a cemetery official, which some who were there that day deny. There was nothing of the sort. We didn't hear it. We didn't see it. But the Army says the employee was unfairly attacked, and photos and video did appear in a Trump campaign video posted on TikTok. It was 13 great, great people. Democratic presidential nominee Kamala Harris posting, the former president disrespected sacred ground, all for the sake of a political stunt. In response, Trump is now sharing videos like this. You have never walked a single day in our shoes. Our kids were murdered because of your administration. Capitol Hill Republicans defending him Sunday. These families, Gold Star families, whose children died because of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris's incompetence, invited him to the cemetery, and they asked him to take those photos. Meanwhile, Trump's own former defense secretary is calling for an investigation. No person or party either side should ever use um, Arlington National Cemetery or any of our cemeteries or battlefields for partisan political purposes. Even though Donald Trump himself facilitated the deal with the Taliban while he was president, the way the Afghan withdrawal was carried out remains one of the many big issues in this year's presidential race, one that both Trump and Kamala Harris may be asked about in the upcoming presidential debate. I'm Christine Frizzell reporting.